Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kyle Jones, Jones Sport Fishing. We got Sam right over here. He's pitching our guts for today. Um, today is August the 18th. We uh, of yeah of 2023. But um, so yesterday kind of struggled. Today we had a fantastic day. Um, we kind of just hooked fish all day long, and we ended up killing a limit of uh, six hatchery kings. So. Pretty darn good day. Everything came on hoochie spinners. Um, I will say the adjustment I made to the two uh, the two single hooks seems to have made a huge difference. I ran them that way today. So we're, uh, hey Sam, can you grab me some of those single hooks? I wanna show them on the video. Um, so uh, yeah, Sam's gonna grab one, but we switched up our rigging from a single treble to running two um, three-aught barge coming I gotta make sure two three odd uh, owner herring hooks and it really seemed to make a big difference let me grab one of these things here hang with me guys all right so oh, hold on couple inches apart that's the same way I rig my uh, same way I rig my uh, mini cup plugs when uh when we're running the I don't know the Brad's baits but anyway so that switch Brett ran them that way today too and his hook to land ratio was also way better so Brett and I both went down the Oregon side this morning it was freaking lumpy it's probably the windiest day we've had down here we had a bunch of bunch of wind waves but we got fish on the outgoing tide we kind of just hung to the green can line on that Oregon side and while it wasn't fast and furious over there we were getting a bit of pass we were getting a fish a pass so made a couple of passes over there while the tide was running out I think there was there was a bunch of boats down kind of more closer to buoy 22 and I think they were whacking them but it was really rough coming across and I didn't feel like beating the guys up so we just kind of um, stayed where we were and trolled our way down and and we were rewarded. We ended up getting a fishing pass there, and then as the tide slacked up, and we started to just kind of hold into it, man, we had a pretty good, pretty good bite there. And then we fell back toward the bridge on the Oregon side and finished our day there. And we we pretty much just caught fish everywhere. It wasn't fast and furious by any means. We didn't, you know, it wasn't like we were raking them over the gunnel, but we were uh, we were getting fish pretty darn consistently. So I'll take that any day. That's probably my favorite way to get them. And then. Barry went down the Washington side and ran the same program he's been running for the last few days and he whacked them over there too. So it seemed like, at least today, there was a pretty good slug of fish that came in both the Oregon and the Washington side. So tomorrow, that's gonna be my last day down here. Brett's gonna be down here for, uh, till the, rest, for the rest of the month, even after the closure day. So he's gonna continue the reports after I leave, the boys and I leave. But uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna stick to that Oregon side. I'm gonna fish it hard. I like that program. I like riding that tide in over there and we'll see what happens. But uh, anyway, guys, we appreciate you guys watching these, the comments, everybody telling, people telling us that they appreciate us. That means a lot. It's a lot of work to finish up a guy day and, and get these posted and do all that. So we appreciate you guys mentioning that you, appreciate, that you like the videos and uh, God bless you guys and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.